Welcome to the Carbon Guard installation video. Here we've got our wall prepared. It's been ground and vacuumed to remove all of the dust and debris from the pores of the masonry units. Next, we'll need to prepare for our anchors, so we will drill for the bottom anchor. Now we're ready for our bottom anchor preparation. We've got our drill jing in place. We've got our 5 8 diameter masonry bit, and I'll show you how we mark that. Basically, we're sticking the drill into the jig. We take our bottom anchor, measure up from there, and mark with a piece of tape. Now we know the depth that we want to drill these two holes. Now at this point, we can pin the first hole to help hold the drill jig while we drill the second hole. Now our wall has been prepared, our bottom anchor's been drilled. Next step is to apply our Extreme 800 to the wall prior to our carbon fiber. In order to do that, the first thing we need to do, apply your static mixer, and you're gonna to wanna to burp the first little bit into a waste container before expelling it into your paint tray. So let's do that. I'm gonna get that first little bit out and then we're ready to go into our paint tray. Now I've expelled the whole tube of Extreme 800 into my paint tray and I'm ready to apply this to the wall. We're going to want to apply it from top to bottom, completely wetting out the wall. Make sure to get the very top, including the lumber, where your carbon's gonna overlap. Okay, now I've got a nice bed of epoxy onto my masonry. I'm ready to apply my carbon fiber. So we're gonna start at the top. Try to make sure it's straight. And then press it right into the epoxy. I like to use a piece of cardboard or a piece of plastic at the bottom. You want at least six inches overlap on your top and bottom anchor. And what you'll notice is the epoxy we put on the wall is now bleeding through the carbon fiber, and that's ideal. Now we're going to continue to roll on epoxy, including where our anchors are going to go on this material. Now our carbon fiber is applied to the wall. It's been wetted out all the way to the top, even included over the lumber. Now we're ready for our top anchor. And now we're ready to pull our carbon fiber over and we're gonna continue wetting this out. So our top anchor's been installed, now we're ready to go to our bottom anchor. First thing we're gonna do is burp our 1200 and then fill both holes with epoxy. 
We're gonna apply our bottom anchor and then we're gonna to continue to apply Extreme 1200 over it to, in order to fill the gaps and we get no air bubbles. Same as before, we're gonna burp this cartridge. Get that first little bit out and then we're ready to fill our holes. Now we can apply our anchor. All the way down. And here's where we apply the bead of epoxy over the top of the anchor. And this will help us eliminate an air gap when we fold our carbon back over. And we're gonna come back with our Extreme 800 and finish the job. The completed carbon guard system installed complete with both top anchor and our patented carbon fiber bottom anchor completely engages the full width of the strap, 450 GSM of carbon, 50% more than anybody else on the market.